Hi, and welcome to another special edition of Jules Voto's Photo Focus. Now, we are very lucky today with the metering patterns available to us in our very sophisticated cameras. Spot, center-weighted, and evaluated metering. Now, spot and center-weighted work just like the spot and center-weighted meters in vintage film cameras. Evaluated works a little bit differently. They all measure reflected light, but evaluated metering tries to determine what the subject is, and based upon that evaluation, in many cases, gives you correct exposure. But it's not always right. Um, in strong backlighting, it could be fooled. Shooting a snow scene, the exposure could be off. And another example would be if your subject is very small and is surrounded by a very dark or a very light background. So what can you do? Well, you could switch to spot metering and take a reading directly off the subject. Uh, but because it's measuring reflected light, it may not always be correct. And the reason for that is meters are calibrated, spot, center weighted, and the old averaging exposure meters in film cameras, they are calibrated to 18% gray. So if your subject is lighter or darker than 18% gray, your exposure will be off. Now you could compensate for that if um, your subject is dark, you can close down a little bit. If your subject is on the light side, you can open up a little bit. But an easier way is to take an incident light meter reading. So how does that work? Well, incident light is light falling on the subject, right? So you take an incident light meter, you place it at the subject, assuming I am the subject, and point it at the camera. And you take a reading and you put that reading into your camera using, of course, manual exposure mode. Now, an even simpler way, not necessarily simpler, but it'll save you the expense of buying an incident light meter or carrying extra equipment, is to take just a regular white styrofoam cup. Okay, you take that cup, you place it over your lens, just right over the lens. Some lenses, it'll just wedge in there real nice. And then you aim the camera back at the camera position. So you walk up to your subject, if you're photographing a person, place it near them, in front of them, aim it at the camera, take a reading, and you will, in almost every case, obtain correct exposure that way. If you're photographing a landscape, let's say a scene across a river, as long as you are in the same light as the scene is, you should be fine. So you turn your back to the scene across the river and aim your camera with your coffee cup um, at the position that you will be photographing from. Set that exposure and you will be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's not going to cost you much to uh, pick up a coffee cup and uh, look for a new video every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. and Eastern Time. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, look for me on Wednesday morning.